I'd like to welcome back our friend from Montreal, Pierre Lalonde. Thank you. Hello, Pichy Cat. Hi, Frank. We had now we had a lot of mail about the uh, Pierre Lalonde. Now so far the big thing isn't your last name. So far this week it's uh, it's the the first name. Uh, so we figured that we'd find out a translation. Pierre, I think, is Peter. Peter, that's right. So uh, Peter, Pete. That's not. That's pretty American. Yeah, that's easy. Easier than Pierre. Does everybody like Peter? Yeah. Yeah. Great reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll write it down and consider it. Well, I, Pierre's going to sing for you in a minute. A uh, Peter. I was going to sing for you in a moment, but I want you to meet a very good friend of mine. He, he started out as a young man at the piano and uh, you know, writing parodies, and he found most of his material came from the front pages of the paper, is, which is the reason he has appeared with uh, Johnny Carson and Mort Saul and uh, Bob Newhart. But interestingly enough, when he worked clubs, he was booked into the Shoreham Hotel in Washington, D.C., for a usual two-week engagement, and uh, everybody in Washington loved him so much that he was held over for six years at as that a bell as a bellhop. <laughs> but he worked the room occasionally, and it's our room that he's going to work tonight. Would you say hello to my good friend Mark Russell? Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's a lovely piano they've provided. It washed ashore many years ago, and the rest is history. Actually, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be here and with, uh, with Clay, and uh, we're going to do a record a little later on. It's a brand new one. You may not have heard of it. It's called Blow Your Mind with Snooky Lanson, so watch for that. And uh, also, Clay is, uh, we've got to be pretty good friends. Clay is probably one of the best dressed men in New York. He really is. He's a fashion plate. He's so neat. He really is extremely neat. He puts shoe trees in his sneakers. I'm not kidding you. He puts, yes, he puts on his suppose with a shoehorn. Actually, uh, I, have, I don't come to New York too often, uh, but most of my New York friends tell me that Mayor Lindsay is doing a great job. <laughs> of course, uh, most of my New York friends live in Rochester, now that I think of it, but I come to your fair city from Washington. That's, where, that's my home. That's where our laws are made, enforced, interpreted, and broken. All by the same people, now that I think of it. And uh, Washington is also, among other things, the home of the Washington Redskins. Whoopee! And uh, you may recall several years ago after one of our Redskin disasters, right after the game, our great quarterback was so mad. At the end of the game, he was so furious, he took off his helmet, he threw it on the ground, and he missed. You may remember reading about that. It was in all of the papers. Another thing, uh, not long ago, Vice President... Uh, Humphrey, I couldn't think of it for a minute. Humphrey went on this round the world tour and just before he left, they put out this press release and it said, at noon today, the vice president leaves on a tour of all of the friendly countries and he should be back at five o'clock. And um, <laughs> he was back at 4.30 now that I think about it. But uh, in Washington, we're very, very excited about the big wedding, the wedding between uh, Linda Bird Johnson and Major General Charles Robb. And, of course, oh, you hadn't heard, oh, no, Major General now. And, of course, they said that, uh, oh, yeah, you hadn't heard. And they said uh, very soon uh, after the wedding, uh, uh, Rob is going to be sent to Vietnam. Actually, he won't be right up there in the front lines. You realize, of course, men are needed in the rear. And uh, yeah, he's going to be, um, he's uh, going to be in Honolulu is uh, where he's going to be. Well, we're very excited about it, and uh, George Hamilton just wrote a book called Paradise Lost, or uh, <laughs> How I Went from 4F to 1A in 20 Minutes. And you can imagine now, just the other day, the president was babysitting for the new grandchild, Lucy's uh, son, whose name is Lyndon, as you know. And the other evening in the White House, picture, if you will, President Johnson babysitting to the little baby singing like this. Rockabye Lyndon, I'm proud of you, boy. I look to the future with tidings of joy. You'll be my successor eventually, competing with dozens, all name Kennedy. <laughs> Perhaps you'll be working in some other way. In 25 years, to your grandma, I'll say, Did you hear about Lyndon? I'm proud of that boy. Tomorrow, his squadron is bombing Hanoi. Yeah. 
invited to the wedding since you know you've entertained presidents and uh, been in the wedding. Well, I went to the last one. You know, I went to uh, when 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 Lucy got married, and what a fantastic wedding that was. Of course, it was completely covered by radio and television. Huntley and Brinkley were in the choir loft. <laughs> Remember that? We heard this. Uh, we're here at Wedding Central. Yes. And now back to Frank McGee at the altar. Frank. <laughs> and then they, they switched do down there, and they said, uh, "We're down here at the altar." And we're now at T minus seven and holding. You may recall that. <laughs> oh, they really treated. They're not going to televise the, this. The, the next wedding. I no, they're going to do like they did. They're going to fly over the thing in a blimp, and that goes to Telstar satellite. It's going to be a great big thing like that. <laughs> yeah, but always, as long as I've known you, you, you as <laughs> a long time. Yes. You 10, never. Fifteen minutes now, I guess. Yeah, I think it's been that way since you walked in. You never looked to me like a comedian. You know, you, you don't have that, that look, you know, that sort of bizarre look. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, I walk in a place, I think I came in to do the books, you know, <laughs> but uh, you never know what people will say. You know, you finish a show, uh, the other evening I finished a show, and a lady stopped me in the lobby, and she said, you know, I don't know anything about entertainment. But you're good. <laughs> what do you say to somebody? It's like, like I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. That's right. right. Well, my, you know, the, the business about I, uh, I changed my name. You see, now, a lot of us in this racket change. Like your name used to be Pierre Cole, but you changed it to Peter because you know it sounded. <laughs> sure, it's more American with that. And uh, but uh, no, Russell is my Russell is my real name, and my whole family was in show business. Just the other day, I said to my uncle, Nipsey. No, 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 good, good, good. That was a mixed marriage. <laughs> hey, Mike, thank you for coming by and uh, spending some time with us here in New York. Oh, it's been my pleasure. And we'll I do I want to thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Pierre is going to sing for you in a second. Yeah. And Did you meet Pierre? Yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Pierre is going to sing. We got the turtles coming. It's all right. Come you got the electric razor there? <laughs> no, no, no. This is a, a brand new idea, and it's a great idea for uh, for gift giving around the holidays. Uh, it's a, a brand new electric knife sharpener and can opener. Uh, well, the whole works from Universal by General Electric. Watch this. We'll be back with Pierre. Peter.